Hey everyone, Dirty Diode here, and today I want to go over the CCIPCR mode, which is also known as Consent Release. Now, if you're here and you're wondering what it is, or you're looking at how to actually use it, um, let me give you a little background first. Basically, you've got your standard CCIP mode, where you do a steep dive, place your pepper on the target, hit the pickle button, and it releases a bomb. And then you've got your CCRP mode, where you designate a SPI, and the computer basically tells you when to release it, or you hold down the pickle button while the disco ball drops uh, through the pipper and then it uh, releases it for you. Now, uh, both of those modes have their purposes, but sometimes, and uh, for me more often than not with CCIP, it's nice to have uh, the option to not have to have such a steep dive angle. Sometimes there's things down on the ground that will shoot back at you, as you are all aware of, and uh, it's nice to be able to uh, stay above uh, the range and still be able to hit a target. So uh, the CCIP consent release mode basically allows you to do that at the sacrifice of a little bit of precision. Um, if you're diving straight at the target and you release the bomb and you've got your pipper on the target, you are you know, going to have a fairly high chance of hitting that target. With this mode, you still have a high chance of hitting it, but uh, it, is, it does introduce a little bit more variables. You've got wind, uh, your bomb is going to be uh, released at a shallower angle, and so it can be affected by more uh, variables and whatnot. So, uh, this isn't as precise, but it does give you the option of not diving straight at the ground to release a bomb. So, um, iron bombs, you know, this works great with those, uh, but it also works really, really well with the uh, CBU-95 cluster munitions uh, and the other variant, uh, where you just want to, you know, see some targets of opportunity and without having to set up a SPI and whatnot for uh, CCRP, you can uh, just, you know, put your pipper where you want to go and the airplane will release the bomb for you when it gets there. So, uh, without further ado, I am going to uh, first attack this target here in CCIP mode to show uh, the steep dive there, and then we're going to attack this target over here in uh, CCIP consent release mode. Uh, so, without further ado, uh, let's go. So, uh, CCIP mode, um, like I said, you have to really have a steep dive angle. So. For this target here, I'm going to wait until I get to about 2.5 nautical miles slant range before I start nosing down and uh, attacking the target. Um, you know, like I said, uh, you got its deeper uh, dive angle, and you know, if I hadn't already uh, modified my helmet mount queuing system here to see the speed, uh, which is not needed for this, but uh, just did it for ease of use, uh, I wouldn't know where the target's at. And so there are some alternatives. I've seen some people do some fancy turns and like flips so you can keep the uh, target in view uh, all the time. But uh, for me, this is just a more comfortable uh, way of doing it with the consent release. Uh, but for CCIP here, yeah, I definitely have to wait until I don't see the target here to dive down on it. So, um, you know, like I said, I wait till uh, about two, two and a half nautical miles uh, right now. I really want to try to uh, dive down to look at it. I'm feeling very uncomfortable with how far below it is there, but, you know, patience is the virtue, and we're almost at 2.5, and here we go. So I'm going to nose down, I'm going to see our pepper, let me uh, make sure our bombs are selected, that always helps. Uh, so here's our pepper, and a horrible dive, my apologies. Pull up, pull up. Pickle. That is going to probably overshoot. Let's go ahead and pause it and look. And it was a hit. Lucky me. Don't do that, boys and girls. <laughs> Try to make sure you have your bomb selected before you start your dive. Uh, I am the first to admit I am not perfect, so uh, there's that. But um, yeah, let's move on to CCIPCR mode. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick so I have time to talk. Uh, first thing you want to do is on your IFFCC switch here, you're going to left click that into test. That's going to bring up this page here. Uh, the option you want is already actually uh, selected here, so we're just going to do a page up or page down on the data button here. And we have two uh, two options here. We've got option 3.9 and 5 mil. Now the difference between these two is basically uh, how tight of tolerances the airplane will uh, require before it will release uh, the weapon. Uh, if you're outside of that tolerance, it will uh, abort the release. So, uh, if you're really good at flying your airplane and you can, uh, you know, got pretty good control of your uh, control stick, five mils is really the way to go. Uh, if you're not as comfortable with that, or you want a little more freedom to drop the bomb, 
uh, three nine will uh, get you where you where you're going with this, but it will definitely uh, potentially allow more error, which means if you're trying to be very precise with the where the bomb hits, uh, you know you you might uh, hit outside of uh, that target area uh, with this mode. So. Uh, I will explain what those two modes are here in a second, but let's get on target uh, so that I can actually uh, show you instead of just talking about it. So I've got the option I want selected. I'm going to right click on the switch to bring it back up to the regular HUD mode. And I'm going to get this other target in view here. It's a uh, SP on it or the TTP on it. It's not, uh, not necessarily required, but uh, just you know, it's nice to kind of know where it's at. So, as we're coming across here, uh, CCIPCR does require less angle than the CCIP mode. So, go ahead and pause it here, show you what's going on. Here we have your paper, and you've got the 3 9 circle, uh, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, uh, that's what they call it, and then you've got your line coming down, and once we start getting close, uh, the pipper held, you're going to see the disc of all start dropping down this line, just like CCRP mode, if you're familiar with that. Now, those two modes I was talking about when we were doing test mode on the switch, uh, the 3-9 the mode basically requires that that disc of all passes somewhere within the, the circle. The 5 mil mode requires that the pipper actually passes through, or I guess the, the disc of all passes around the pipper. Uh, which gives you a lot tighter tolerance here. So, um, as you are holding the pipper uh, on the target, you're actually going to hold your pickle button down, and uh, that will uh, initiate the mode, and then you're going to hold that pickle button down until the plane releases the bombs for you. Now, this is all dashed line here, and that basically indicates that the pipper isn't really here. It's actually, you know, down here somewhere. If I were to do a regular CCIP drop, the bomb would fall down here. here. By constraining it to the window here, you're actually able to put it on target prior to needing to uh, in the traditional CCIP mode. So I'm going to go ahead, unpause, and we're going to get this pipper on the target. And then I'm going to click and hold the button down. You can see the disc of all dropping, and then the bomb has released all on its own without me having to do a deep diving. Now, like I said, this isn't as precise as a traditional CCIP mode, but it still gets the job done, especially if you're using cluster munitions. So if you notice, I don't really have that high of a descent, or sorry, a dive angle when I release that. It's pretty shallow, and if there was some baddies down there, I would be a little bit more out of range than if I was doing the traditional CCIP dive bomb. So there you have it. Uh, please check out my other videos. Uh, I am definitely uh, happy to do some tutorials uh, if there's some interest in something specific, so please throw that in the comments if you uh, have something in mind. And other than that, I appreciate you watching, and have a good day!